Hello YouTube and welcome to an official set of tutorials on Omega Craft and Lordcraft. With me, Cobbs, and my host, Alex, who has built these fantastic buildings to uh, help show off the mod. Hello, hello, hello. It's, um, I am, I know, a chunk about Charles's mods, but, so this is a learning experience for me as well, and I will be your, uh, your voice. Let's go with that. Okay. Sure. I will take on the role as professional noob if if it's needed. Fair enough. Yeah, it's it's nice to have you around because actually the problem with being the developer is it's like you know how it works, but you don't always see all of the things you could do with it, perhaps. I suppose. And then you also don't know at what point you haven't explained it well enough to people. So Indeed. Indeed. Very grateful you for your help. We'll start with Megacraft and go for an entirety of Megacraft. Yes. Um, we'll and then the second half of this, isn't it? Indeed. So, um, to begin. Balls. Oh, well, yes. yeah. In this episode, we're going to be mainly going over energy, but we'll start with a little brief little overview of Megacraft, what it can offer. Yeah. So, the Megacraft. Your Minecraft experience. Yeah. So, Megacraft is a uh, technology based mod. Um, originally, its goal was to take a piece of the original Tison craft and uh, take out the technology part of that and extend it to a point at which you can sort of feel like it's a competent tech mod and possibly use it on its own instead of something like Thermal Expansion if you want to try something a bit different because uh, I know Thermal Expansion everyone uses it it's the sort of standard staple of technology nowadays um, so this is just offering but something different, I suppose. Similar experience, but uh, yeah, a fresh alternative. Yeah, oops. a different perspective, but similar things. Yeah. So, so, yeah. First thing added by this mod is uh, six new ores. So we have copper, tin, lead, silver, aluminium, and magnite. All these except magmites are used sort of throughout your experience, and magmite is used sort of later on, as opposed to sort of expand things. Yeah. Let's start. So, <laughs> these can be processed like sort of standard ores, either in a furnace or um, using whatever mod you you have using, using that crusher. Or we'll go over the machines in a later episode and show you how to refine these to the utmost efficiency. Yeah. There are multiple ways of doing it. So let's uh let's go into the factory and check out the first set of things you wanted to pull in here. We want to talk about. Alrighty. Welcome inside. Um this place. Yeah. It's very We've got our little uh, plans here. As you can see we're very prepared. We've very um fought out the entire series. <laughs> well part every, of it. Every every to the last episode. <laughs> Well, um, part of it. No slapdash here. No. Definitely not. Um, it's a very nice contraption we've got here. This is the old crusher. It's it's loud and noisy, so I'll tell you enough. Yeah, so we're going to be replacing this crusher with uh, one of the ones <laughs> Whoa. this mod will play. It took me 40 minutes to make that piece of shit. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well. We start. Okay. This, might, this might take just about as long. All right. So, generators, yes. Generators, indeed. So we have four types um, of generator. Here, you can see. So we have combustion generator, catalytic generator, hungry generator, and lava generator. In the I've set a little um test up here where um in the in these hoppers here you should so you should yep. see these are. The, Examples of stuff that you can put in. So you've got like the basic burnables, catalytic set generators, that stuff. Yeah, just all random things. And then home generate foods, obviously the higher the uh, saturation, the better the food is, so always go for the good old steaks. Yeah, Can't steaks be that. A good one. Um, medium rare. Exactly. So, you want to pull the lever? And... Yeah, just we'll pull the lever out. This is basically just, just going to say which, which fills up quickest. Just for the sake of it. Yeah. As you can see, the uh, 
items going in. There's little tool tips showing off the uh, our fuel that's going through, and yeah. you can see the energy filling up here. This is, I think, the best source of each is um, what was currently going through. So you see, like, yeah, pretty much. Um, I think it's currently it's currently the punk generator is winning, followed by the cattle engine, mm. then the lava generator, yeah. and lastly the measly little. Yeah. So the thing with the uh, so yeah, cattle engine generator is generally the one you want to go for all day because hungry generator, as yeah. you can see, is going through the stake pretty quickly. Yeah, <laughs> he's really tight for it. it lava through. generator is nearly out of the first lava bucket, and it's generated nearly a hundred thousand mm. roofs. Yeah, it's fairly um, reasonable. Yeah, there's um. Yeah, the blades take quite a while to burn because some, I mean, you know, blaze rods. But you'd with coal, honestly, go a lot quicker. Yeah, I mean, you could put lava. You can actually put lava buckets in this one, but the advantage of the uh, lava generator over here is it's a little bit more efficient, and you can also pump it in using um, uh, using like a pipe or something from a mod that has fluid transport. Do you have an external internal buffer on these machines? Yes, because... that far on the side has an internal buffer. Where, but where they... else? On the left side there? Oh, I see. Uh, no, I mean, is there an item buffer? Because... No. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> Bug busting, everyone. Wow, okay. <laughs> well... It's interesting. That'll be fixed, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting one. It's <laughs> like... <laughs> I've never before. Right. I'll, I'll uh, probably explain where some of these things have gone in time. Don't use hoppers. Don't use hoppers. Yeah, hoppers don't work. Apparently. I wonder if that's well, Vanilla's fault, actually. Well, that doesn't I, guess happen. Look, I guess you'll look into that. Yeah, that doesn't happen with pipes. <laughs> no. Anyway, so yeah. So, those are the okay. four sort of basic generators that require fuel items, as it were. Probably, as in most of these type of uh, in the industrial craft and everything, always start with your basic old coal generator. Yeah. Work your way up. If you're living in a... Do a little fancy lava system next to a massive lava lake. Yeah, it's always an option, isn't it? And, um, yeah. Okay. Home generator's pretty, um, pretty niche, but pretty damn cool. Mm. Maybe you've got, like, a big farming map mod that could help. Yeah. Go it really gets your power out quickly. I mean, jeez. I mean, the catalytic one has overtaken it, but... <laughs> it's because yeah. all the food's eaten. All the food's been gone, and, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, yeah right. um... Let's talk about the passive generators, I guess. These ones out here. These don't require fuel to run. Yeah. So. The solar panel-esque things. Yeah, the panels. Okay, I've remember, like, memorized You've these. memorized these. This is the normal solar panel. The bog standard, as you'd expect. When it's light, it creates energy. This is the moon solar panel. The moon, moon lapel panel. Lunar panel. As it's... Oh, the lunar... That would make more sense. The moon lapel panel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, tutorials with that. It's, it's these cows' fault. It's the cows' fault. I just, you know, can't get that out of my head. Um, yeah. Then is the <laughs> that was the. <laughs> oh, you broke it. I'll put it back down. It's cool. <laughs> that was. <laughs> I lost it. I put, I put it, back, I put it back down. It's yeah, fine. Right. That was the glowstone panel. Yep. So this one requires glowstone on top of it to work. Which is cool of you know you're living in a cave. The passive generation doesn't need to be able to see the sky. Yep. Plop that one down. And here we have the um, precipitation panel. Requires... Is that what it's actually called? Yep. Requires weather <laughs> oh, of some description. Yeah. So the raining or um, snow. Produces a bit more power than these exactly. ones over here, but obviously it's less um, likely to happen. So when you're running to your beds to uh, skip the weather, you get a few seconds of power generated in that time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, or maybe you like rain. Who knows? <laughs> maybe one of the few who likes rain. Maybe. Uh, um, and then the dark purple blue green matter one. Yeah, the, the dark panel. So this That's one, um, this one just generates power all the time. Uh, it produces a lot more power than the other ones, and it's it's very expensive though because it requires That's dark it, matter. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. each of these third ones have like an advanced version and a quadruple. So they each have a quad uh, version, which is like combining four together like this, and it's four times as good. Um, and that can be sort of you can put that together and take it apart quite easily so you can upgrade it and the upgraded version of them produces eight times as much power 
and can also be turned into a quad version. So that's yeah. the thing. So you upgrade your systems as you go along. Yeah. So. Turns you're going to be green friendly. Cool. You're going to, you know, burn all of your everything. Yeah. You know, use your coal generator to kill all the wildlife. Collect yeah. all your steaks from the wildlife and use that to make more food. I particularly recommend this one if you're friendly to the environment. If you like, yeah. If, if you I... love the rain, this is your one. Actually, I haven't even tested that if it works in a desert or not. <laughs> That's an interesting uh, one. I don't. I don't know. Depends how Minecraft considers rain in a desert. Sandstorms approved. <laughs> yeah, approved for sandstorms. Okay, so. and then. Lastly, I'm just stealing all of your introductions now, Charles. You are, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's right, right. Lastly, and most scarily, you get your, uh, you know, our nuclear, modern day nuclear reactor variant, but a lot more on the risque side, your magmite reactor. Yes. So you can see in this lovely chest. So this is powered with uh, magmite fuel rods, which you can craft using a empty fuel rod and some magmite ingots. We're not going to show the recipes because... Pretty much everyone uses JEI, which, I, which I've got over here. Um, yep. So, you know, you could just download that and you can see recipes from there. I'm, I'm going to throw a quick disclaimer there. That is actually well in there. It's going to... Oh, yeah, the blast proofing. Yeah. <laughs> Some people might see that. I've, it's not, I've a, it's not a real game. blog. No it's way. not a real blog. Yeah. Um, yeah. So where, where do you reckon it's safest to put this down? Um, yeah. I mean, I'm not intending to blow anything up yet. Well, That's a thing we could do later. <laughs> If it's safe, I'll just throw it down over here. Okay. Boop. Um, so, I've gone. I don't have a backup, but we'll figure it out. I've gone for an ultimate ESD. <laughs> yeah, there's a point we probably should have done that. I've gone for an ultimate ESD because um, it's this produces a lot of power. Um, so the inventory here has six slots for putting fuel rods in. A power meter on the side, which you can see has a lot of space in it. Um, a fuel meter in the middle. A slot here, which you put ice in to cool it down if you need. No heat which, I, which I don't always recommend because actually the amount of power this produces is, rel is relative to the amount of heat that's being built up. And a heat meter on the side, yeah. Which I'm not sure what unit that is. Um, <laughs> I mean, Cob uh, Cobbins hides. Cob wow. Well, I don't think it has a unit. It's just cobs. It's, cobs. Just doing cobs. Degrees cobs. Sure. Degrees cobs. <laughs> Um, so okay. you put the magmite fuel rods, you can't shift-click them in, or maybe you can, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> as it turns out. <laughs> you learned something new already? Oh god, it's heating up very quickly. It heats up very quickly, uh, but as you can see, the fuel is going down. Is it safe? It should be safe. <laughs> I hope so. Um, um, it should get near to full, but not actually fill up completely. Yeah, oh, yeah. So it ran out. That, cool. You really cut it fine there. I did, yeah. <laughs> so I, I didn't has. think it would put all of that in. Um, so the more risky you get with your fuel, the more yeah. energy you get out of it, but then the yeah. more in threat you are for spontaneous, spontaneical yeah. explosion. As you can see, that made a lot of RF, and this thing stores a pretty reasonable amount, and you can see it filled yeah. up quite a large chunk of that bar. Um, uh, these are the power storing devices, probably should have mentioned yeah, that. Yeah, energy storage devices, or ESD as I call them. Um, Which, yeah. Uh, you can it's put ice in to cool it down. So if you put an ice in it, it cools it by a, a thousand heat units. So I can put in like a stack of it and it'll go down. It won't completely drain it out. It'll keep it pretty uh, low though. So that was just plain magmite ingot, uh, plain magmite. But you can actually use um, cave magmite as well. So keep a note of that dead. number on that. So get rid of that. Mm. Pop another one down. <laughs> and oh, we'll God. put the cave magmite in instead. Is, is this also safe? Uh, yeah, I believe so. <laughs> About okay. as certain as I was last time. So as you can see, it um, the fuel's a different colour. It's heating up very quickly, my friend. It's about the same as last time, isn't it? I know, but these are more powerful ones, aren't they? They produce more energy, certainly. Okay, they're not produce more heat. No, don't think so. See? They used to, they don't anymore. Okay, so that's fine. So how much energy do we get? So about double from there, so... It's pretty okay. good. Yeah. So when you add your new fuel rods in, you be careful not to add too many and accidentally explode. Yeah. This does have some sort of form of redstone control to stop it from consuming fuel rods and processing them, um, which you can do. That can be used to carefully control the heat on it. Uh, I'm intending to add comparator output so that you can read how hot it is, so you can like get a redstone signal for that. 
which is why it's 16, 16 thousand. Because you can, nice comparator. Degree cops. Yeah. Of course. Um, trademark. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Terms of conditions apply. Right. Um, so should we go blow something up then? Can't say no to that. Right. We just uh, cool that okay. down so it doesn't like yeah. scare me, scare, scare you too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone actually drops a fuel rod in there. Right. Let's go to like some random nowhere. Yeah. Let's go over, like I don't know. I mean, you 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 picked out this world, so you know where to go. Let's go over here. Over here. This is quite a nice area, right. actually. Yeah. You sure you yeah. want to do it here? Yeah. Oh, yeah? There's nothing here. Let's do it here. Yeah, there's nothing here in particular. Cool. Right, so. So, overheat it. Um, my best recommendation is just to drop all six of your Marmite fuel rods in. I mean, you could drop five in, but the explosion size is relative to how much fuel is still in it. So, actually, you can make it bigger if I were to put more fuel rods in. Even Hurry up, man. <laughs> man. Oh. Uh, we might want to get away from it. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> um, As you can ah. see, it made quite an explosion. Oh. Um, um. And also somewhat of a mess as well. What's going on here? <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty pretty devastating. It doesn't seem to do much damage at the moment. I'm not gonna. No. Not a huge amount. <laughs> um. I mean, player damage. Yes. That might actually be the water that protected him, actually. Oh well. Yeah, I think the water protected him. So there you go. That's a thing. I'm intending to make this bigger in future, by the way, so... Still pretty impressive. That would be an entire base. That's your base gone, yeah. One so day. be careful. And, but, you know, make sure you're fishing at the same time, because apparently you'll be completely... <laughs> saves, saves your life. <laughs> yeah. Um... He's, st he's still at it. It's great. It is. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I've not got a question now. <laughs> no. So yeah, That's that was energy. Part one of this overview. Indeedy. Basically, long awaited, change. much requested, Certainly world renowned. Oh yeah, that's another thing. There is a. I um... know oh, it's not in this version yet. It'll be in the next version. <laughs> That's yeah, your little I, uh, <laughs> preview there, exclusive. <laughs> there's a there's a guide coming in the next version which has a, um, some descriptions of some of the more complicated things in this, pretty much. Which we probably will get around to eventually. Yeah. So. Being the keyword, being eventually. Eventually is certainly the keyword. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short look at the power generation of uh, Megcraft and are excited for the next uh, episode, which will be talking about is it transfer <laughs> <Yes>. of stuff? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't open it, but it's the transfer. Of, it's the transfer of stuff and storage of energy. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. And see you then. Bye. Bye. All right. We've just um discovered something. We but, uh broke you know, one of these. Little bug. There you go. <laughs> it actually turns out they do have an internal buffer that I was unaware of. So you're not losing so... your items. They're just hidden. Oh, might be interesting to find out if they can store non-used items and non-usable items. I don't think so. They're only bringing us stuff they could use. I'm sure. No, they're, oh, yeah. they're, they're taking anything. Okay, so um, there you go. If you want to store all of your diamonds in a hungry <laughs> generator, in a secret chest, you can do that. And I guess you could probably use a hopper to bring them out again instead of breaking them. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe the thing we'll be talking about in the next episode. Indeed. Stay tuned for that. Bye. Bye.